Hello there, everybody. My name's White Dragons. If you haven't already noticed, I haven't put out a video in a long time, and there's a good reason because life sucks, and uh, real life takes priority over hobbies. So uh, I'm recording this using my old computer, which I'm hoping will keep up and uh, I can make something good out of it. So let's get started with what we've got going on on the screen. So on the screen, it is not blast off, so please don't think it's blast off, okay? Just, just, just let that go. This is actually a new mod pack that can be found on the Curse Launcher, and it is called Village Incorporated Recolonization Protocol. So welcome to this Villager Incorporated Survival and recolonization guide. Please refer to the information on the right of each quest section for details. Remember to do so, to do as the guide says, and ignore the comments of any companion cubes. They are not sentient. We also would like to remind you that iron, redstone, gold, lapis do not spawn in this world. We apologize for the inconvenience. For more information on the matter, continue to read this book. 89.99, not including taxes, batteries sold separately so basically we are um the world's ended and we have been in stasis and we are sleeping so let's get started the first always is reputation is kind of confusing here because there's nothing here but the first thing to always note is that i will never be in hardcore i tried one time and I failed miserably. So we're not doing hardcore mode. We'll just, so we have an infinite amount of lives. But you can do hardcore mode. It's up to you. Really, your call, not mine. So let's get started with this quest. We have Welcome to the Inn something. Uh, you wake up inside a Villager Incorporated, or in INC, Nuclear Reconstruction Bunker. Items are scattered around, and among them you see his handbook. Maybe he can help you. It appears that you were in a cryo storage for some time. The world has changed. So let's go ahead and open this up. And we have our first set of quests. This is kind of not good. So let's get started. So the basics. Welcome to welcome Apocalypse Nuclear Winter Survivor to this Village Incorporated Certified Survival Guide. That took me nine times, by the way, to make sure I said that correctly. If you are currently in, pro in possession of this, then a world-threatening disaster has occurred. In such event, you are on your own. This book may just be your lifeline. So basically, it needs us to turn in a... 16 planks, one crafting table, and one seed, and then we'll get these lovely things. By the way, this is not a wooden sword. This is a broadsword. I needed to know that. Uh, also, up top, AOE no boards, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go ahead and get insert and get rid of that. Now, we'll deal with the other things later on. Right now, we need to get outside. Hello. Can I go out, please? See, there's... And it, when I checked this pack, that button wasn't there. Anyways, so uh, yeah, real life things has happened, and uh, there's already monsters and stuff. Because this looks like it has the Ascension. Yes, it does. Um, Advent of the Ascension. I guess it's Ascension 2, I think. Uh, I've played with this mod before, so I'm very familiar with the UI up top. If you're not, basically... Uh, each one of those things gives a, a buff at certain times, uh, and right now we are full for the time being. Uh, depending on what you do uh, will depend on what buff you get, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I have not played this with that with the uh, Ascension uh, Advent of the Ascension in a while, so I don't know what's going on. Also, if it sounds a little weird like I'm inside a box, I kind of am. So for the time being, we're just going to have to live with this, and I'll try to edit it and change it up in um, when I do the, the voice and whatnot. So I'll try to change that as much as possible. Can't guarantee it, but I'll make it sound at least decent. So, why did... God dang it. Can you please just disintegrate before my very eyes? Come on. So it's going to be pretty interesting because redstone and 
Lapis Luzi looks like iron, which is the, the essential for most of every single mod pack, is not in the mod pack. So we're going to have to depend on the quest book to tell us exactly what we need to do in order to survive, which kind of makes sense. Makes, you know, I mean, it's kind of a smart thing to do, you know. Uh, I have not done any prep work for this video. Uh, or what I mean by that is, is I haven't checked out anybody else that could be playing this mod pack because uh, back in the day I did a blind, you know, the blind uh, mod pack series and I just wanted to see, okay, so this doesn't degrade quickly. The slime island up there too. Uh, also, this is a pre-generated map from what I can understand. So, um, you can pre-generate, not pre-generate, but you can generate your own map but it will stick you not inside that bunker. Okay, that's new. Uh, so just be very, very aware of that. Um, so you, you may or may not find a bunker. You may or may not be spawned beside a side something. I would really like just an oak sapling. Okay. That is because I'm doing plant stuff, and it uh, one of the gods loved me for that, from the Ascension pack, so. I remember a little. I don't remember a lot, but I remember a little. Okay, there's zero. Alright. Let's get some, get some seeds here. So we can find some. Hopefully. It'd be great. I think I needed eight, if I remember straight. Finding every seed but the green ones. Story of my life. Story of my life. Yeah, found every one but those. Okay, don't you do that. Come on. I need what? Two more now? One more? All right, perfect. Okay, so what is this? Dead leaf. Huh, okay. Just gonna gather up a little bit more just in case. Eh, that should be plenty. Um. All right, let's take care of that real quick. Uh, weather needs to be turned down. Crossbow creatures need to be turned. Did I say crossbow hostile? Creatures need to be turned down. That needs to be turned down. We'll go ahead and turn that down, that down, and that down. Perfect. Okay. So there's some kind of solar thing here. I'm not 100% sure what it is. So it's going to be pretty interesting on that point. Uh, so what do I want to do in this series is just basically um, go through the mod, mod packs quest book. What is this? Dirt chest. I guess it deteriorates things. Oh, yeah, it deteriorates things. This is a portal gun. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty cool. This is a generator. Oh, wait, generator from who? Progressive automation. Okay, cool. Uh, necromancer bookshelf. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you. Uh. It's a red lamp, or blue lamp, actually. Okay. It's pretty nifty. What do we got downstairs? Ooh. That's your books, too. So these are universal cables. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with that. Damn, I could have gotten... Why did this not all just... Oh, God. It scared me. Uh, by the way, this is only on because I'm currently in creative... The map... There's two. There's two maps. There's creative map with cheats, creative map without cheats. And the reason why I'm doing the creative maps with cheats is because I want to be able to um, teleport with journey map, and I uh, I need the cheats on in order to do that. So if you didn't know that, if you don't have cheats on, you can't use the journey map to go to your locations. So tip. Okay, I. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna plug this one right here. No, that ain't gonna work. 
Alright, I know the chandelier actually helps uh, stop spawnage, so I would probably put one here, and we'll put one over here. Oh crap, I didn't even notice this. Ooh, it's a real craft. Cure. Okay, so this should, I shouldn't have any problems down here. Let me hit F7. I have some problems up here, down here. I need to take care of immediately. Um, yeah, because that's a, that, that would be a bad thing right there. So we're just going to stick that there. Okay, all right, I feel better. Ooh, companion cube. Is that a companion cube? Huh. It's a valentine's. It looks like a companion cube. Okay, that's a slime. Ooh. Futuristic blocks. Or future, future block. Okay, cool. Alright, anyways. Um, just for the time being, because that is going to be really annoying, let's just go ahead and turn hostile creatures off. Uh, and let's take a look what's in our books. So we've got 100% completion there. We still need to take care of the wood. Well, uh, let's drop these books because we're not really going to need them. And for now, we'll put our stuff in here. Uh, just in case it takes the seeds. I don't want it taking the seeds. I think it said we needed 16. So 4, 8, 12, 16. 4, 8, 12, 16. So we need 3. Plus we need the... Uh, four, uh, four, blah, four planks to make the uh, crafting bench. Oh shit! Huh? Math so hard. All right, let's try this again because obviously I'm stupid. All right, there we go. All right, all right. And boom! All right, so we should have everything. Let's see if it takes it away because I've had it take it away before. No, it actually kept it. Okay, cool. Are we actually kept it? So. Uh, that means I can transfer transform this into the crafting bench or Tinker's Construct, which is pretty cool. And let's take a look at the next one. Tools of the trade. In the event of the disaster of a disaster, the human race may evacuate the world, leaving Commandant 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 I can't read. Commodate I don't know. Your ass, such as yourself, behind. The lack of human technology means that any regular or vanilla tools are redundant. Luckily, we have just the product. Village Incorporated Tinker's Tools. Let's begin. Alright, so we need to craft a tool station, a stencil table, and a parts builder. And then we'll get a pattern chest, an iron ingots, chain legging. I guess that's a silkworm. I can't... I see a little dot, but that's about it. Oh crap, I know, what they're, I know where they're leading us. Oh, I hate this. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. We can, we got this. So to uh to get started with tinkers, we're just going to need to make a few blank patterns to start off with. And what I mean by a few is a whole bunch. There we go. I got a cough real quick. Okay. So the next thing we're going to make is a crafting bench. Now, I you know that's contradictory. Why are you making another crafting bench? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, if this is like the way it normally is, I need one of you because it specifically shows a oak parts builder. I already had those. Okay, and then we need... Again, it's showing oak. So we're just going to keep the oak theory in mind. And we need that. And then the last thing we're going to need is... Oh, this. And this. Which gives us our tool station. Awesome. Uh, also remember, Tinker's Construct, if you place a Tinker's Construct crafting table beside a, a chest, it typically will have a side window here for everything that's in it. So you can always just do that and store all your stuff. Which is pretty cool. So... Uh, we need the patterns that left us the seeds, which was awesome. Uh, so this should be completed. Yep, this is 100% completed. We get the pattern chest. We don't have to make that, thank God. Eight iron ingots, which is awesome. And chain leggings with the silkworm. Oh no, wait, there's another one. So a task for the player. Okay, uh, apparently we need to get flint and wooden tools. Alright, so let's see. Let's put tool station there, parts builder here, and that there. Cool. 
and I think I have them in my inventory already. Yes, I do. All right, so we're gonna need the tool rod. We're gonna need the binding, and we're gonna need an pickaxe head. Okay. So this is how we're gonna. You, everybody who does not know about Tinker's Construct, there's tons of tutorials you can go look up. I'm not gonna tell you to go look them up because there's tons of them. Um, but typically, you're just using resources to build things with. So that's you know that's that's it in a nutshell. Um, and instead of wasting an entire log and dealing with the oops, wrong one, and dealing with getting the weird stuff, uh, it's actually just going over here like this. Okay. Uh, if you take a look at the cost, it says 0 0.5. Also, holding down Shift shows you all the things that can, it can be made out of. I have company upstairs, okay. Uh, and we only need 0 0.5, which is basically a stick's worth. Boom, boom, boom. And now we need to get flint. Um, okay, that's kind of creepy up there. I didn't get any food while I was up there, so I guess we'll have to eat these apples. We get down to two hunger. Um, there's flint, or not flint, there's uh, gravel right outside, which is good. I don't know if I can get to it or not with the spiders right there. Now you're not hearing sound because I, uh, I turned off sound, so keep that in mind. So we got zombies coming, we need to hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We'll get six pieces. I'm gonna be greedy, go for nine. Okay, good. Damn, it's dark. Whoa! What's going on out here? What is this? Who are you? Are you good? Hey! Oh, wow, you're an assassin. Hello. Oh, you're a traitor. Oh. I'm gonna go help your bro out real quick. Hey. This is actually nice. I don't have to hear all the bullshit. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? That has a helmet. It has a helmet. I want the helmet. You know what it could be? It could be, oh, has that got a hat too? Is Hat Mod in this too? Ooh, Hat's Mod is in this mod too. Cool. Oh, and I got a head too. Oh, did you see that? That dude just transformed. He's got different armor on than what he had. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Wait, what the hell? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What? Ancient unrest is over now. Uh, okay. That's interesting. Um, let's go ahead and also take care of that rain. Super low. I also need to crank the hostels up a little bit. There we go. Uh, much better. Okay. So we've got... Ooh, slime. I'll take the slime. Okay, somebody's hurting, getting hurt. It looks like it's... Why are these traitors not fighting back? Maybe I can get these guys. Oh, it's one of those, it's those uh, demons that can hurt you, like... Ah. Ah. How you like that, huh? Oh shit, you hit hard. No, don't kite him all the way out there. I can't fight him out here. You need to... Oh god, I gotta eat too. Can you... Can you die? Thank you. Alright, can I... Can I... <gasps> Ooh, I can give you ninja stars? You can give me a goo ball? Throwing weapons, slow the enemies? Okay. Chakra? 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 Throwing weapons? Poison? Do you have anything, like, useful? Throwing weapons? So it looks like you guys just like... You... Metal slug. What? What? Okay. You have food. That's what I want. I want food. It doesn't look like it. 
So, can I do, like, push you back, maybe? Can I get you in my base? That would be kind of cool. If I can put you in my base. Come on. Come on. Ooh, I need to eat. Hold on. Let me eat. Let me go look at your bro real quick. I'll be right back. Oh, that's one of those... What the fudge is that? Do you see that? Okay, so they all they all do the same. I'm probably gonna die, but what the hell is that? I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, here comes comes this douchebag. I remember these guys. No matter how hard you hit them, they seem to hit you. What is this? What is this? This looks kind of creepy. It's a creeper? Hello? Oh, it's a slime! Oh, it had a hat on! Duh. Oh, there's actually- oh, uh, oh! Is there infernals in here? <gasps> there's infernals in here! Okay, calm down, calm down. I'm glad there was- we were near water. Thankfully. Can I eat this? No. Oh, my sword broke. Okay. Um, so you guys are pretty much this, both the same. Is there anybody on land? No, there's nobody on land. Actually, this guy does have a different weird trade. I'm wondering if I can push... I wonder if these guys can actually stay if they despawn. I, last time they despawned on me. So I'm just going to kind of like, you know, push him a little bit. I don't want to make him a prisoner or anything. I just... Come on, bro. I am, uh, I wanna, I want, no, 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 no. I need you to go, I need you to go this way, okay? Come on. This isn't too difficult. There's a slime ball over there, by the way. You pick that up. That's so cool. I haven't seen traders in a long time. And we are way off the reason why we're out here. Um, which is to gather, uh, gravel so that we can, um, so that we can uh, continue the quest. Ah, no! I had him lined up perfect. Get in there. I thought they said there were supposed to be no humans. So, how is this person here? If there's no humans. God dang it. Can you, can you not? I just, I'm not trying to make you a prisoner. Okay, I need you to get away from the button. Okay. Alright, so if I kind of like go like this. Ugh! Oh my god, is he like, because he, he's in my career field with you. Get in there. If I could just clip him through, that'd be great. I don't want to break these blocks. Okay, one more time. Come on, you can do this. I don't want to trade with you, I... Hmm. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I got an idea. Alright, line him up. Push him in. He's clipped! <laughs> Alright. Hey, what the fuck? You better be female. That's all I gotta say. Alright, so, uh... You can stay right over here, bro. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go fix my sword real quick, because... Um, that's what we do. Let's see. Can we fix it from the tool station? Yes. So it's a wood sword, so you fix it with wood. That's pretty simple to understand, right? Okay. Okay, that's just an assassin dude. Okay, this... What the... F what? What is wrong with your hat? Universal pump... Okay, universal pumping. Okay, that's weird. Alright, I'm trying to save civilized people here, okay? I'm sorry, bro. You're just kind of, like, stuck out there. There's a slime. Probably fell from there. Hey, you got anything different? Uh, no, you guys are all the same. So, uh... Watch your back. Okay, bro. Thanks. Ooh, what's this? Fire protection. Hell yeah. I'll take fire protection any day. K 
Okay, can you just like walk straight? Dude, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm gonna have to leave you behind. Watch, these guys just like despawn or some stuff. Alright, come on. Get in there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Come on. Come on. You wanna go say hello to your to your other cloaked friend? Your other masked friend. Come on, up there. Okay. Alright, ready? Go, 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 go! Ha 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 ha! Okay, cool. Oh, son of a bitch. No, no, no. I'm gonna go in here. Alright, see? Now you're safe. They said humans didn't were supposed to be on this planet. Look at there. I found two humans right there. Bro, I'm so sorry. I'm I'm Oh, he's gone. Huh. I guess he didn't What the hell is that? What is that? Can it stop raining? Oh. Hey, it stopped raining and that thing disappeared. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I wonder what these buildings are. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. So we've got some gravel. Let's uh let's go back inside where it's safe. You guys kinda just like chill here, okay? Yeesh. Alright, so if we go to our any eye system, we're gonna hit O but oh shit, hold on. Um let me hit O to get rid of the any eye for a moment. I don't know, is it O? Yeah. No. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, the mm. Alright, here we go. So I need to create flint. And flint doesn't pop up, I think. I think you have to make it. No! No, 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 no. Take this back. I don't want that. Why? No, hold on. No, 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 no. This wasn't supposed to be like this. How do I stop this? Um, no. No, 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 no. Options. Inventory. Cheat mode enabled. No, recipe mode enabled. There we go. Alright, that should fix that, right? No, it didn't. God dang it. Um, inventory. Utility mode. Cheat. Uh, what, um, creative, creative plus, adventure, um, I'm confused, I, I really, I didn't know this was still on cheat mode, utility mode maybe, maybe, no it's still giving it to me, okay, so can I hit R, alright, I'll figure out how to turn this off, I don't want to cheat. Uh, so a grindstone, shables crafting, and an enrichment chamber, purification chamber, sag mill. Oh, that's probably how they want us to get our iron. Great. Rock crusher. <gasps> they got the rock crusher in here. That's awesome. All right. So that being said, that means we can go ahead and do this and get our flint. Boom. Okay, and then we need to make the flint pattern, which is right here. And then we need to take our flint, and it requires one. So we're going to be able to make one of those. All right, and we're going to keep this because we need it to... Uh, what is this? Blistering power stone. Okay. Uh, we're going to need uh, flint in order to repair it. Uh, okay. And we have to, oh, you know what? We have some, uh, I wonder if I can make it. I know I can make it, actually. Hold on. This is for survival sake here. Okay, so we, t we need to make oak wood planks. And then we take, oops. Then we have drying racks. We take the drying racks. Oops, come here. And we go, we'll make this our kitchen area for now. Put our drying racks up top. Hey, there's even a fan there. That's even better. And we right click with the uh, zombie flesh and we will get zombie jerky or monster jerky eventually. Okay, can I wait? Hold on, I probably can use that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so we go over to our tool station and then oh, it's nighttime. Okay, hold on. It's hold on. What is that about? Wooden tool rod binding. Okay, are they not on me? They were not on me, okay. So these are on me now. Alright, 100%, let's claim. Woo! 
Okay, so the pattern, the chest, the, blah, blah, the pattern chest, we can shrink down, which I always like shrinking down, and I always like putting right on top of the parts builder. And uh, we have a silkworm. I don't know why just yet. And let's open up the next book, uh, thing. Uh, fair warning, don't try to skip ahead on some of this stuff. Just go with the quest book because I learned the hard way that they... Oh my god, they got a magnum torch! Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I learned the hard way that sometimes some of these quests tell you to build it a certain way. And then if you don't build it that way, then you may get trouble. Alright, so while it may seem like a breeze to mine cobblestone... You may have noticed that several ores like gold, iron, redstone are unavailable. Our scientists predicted that these resources may be obtained via sieving. Cool. So apparently uh, placing a silkworm in leaves will slowly turn them into infested leaves which drop string and more silkworms when broken in, broken with a cork. A crook, sorry, not cork, crook. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so... Uh, we will get gravel, iron ingot, and a magnum torch. Sweet baby Jesus. I hope that works against the advent ascension monsters. God, I hope that works. So, uh, let's see. So we need string and we need a crook. Alright, is there anywhere else that we can go? Apparently not. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I gotta do some prep work for that. Um, like for starters, uh, we need to set it up so it only infests a certain area, not everywhere, because uh, the silkworms can infest other trees as well, so we gotta be careful about that. So, uh, if you don't know how to build your, your tools, you just follow the picture, and the picture says put this here, put this here, and then put this up here, and you have a flint pickaxe. And it looks like it can grow with you, so it can level up with you, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it doesn't uh, doesn't say what repairs it. So I'm hoping it Flint repairs it. So we're going to change its name to the Mighty Number Zero. Because I'm playing Mighty Number Nine, too, over to the side. So... All right, the mighty number zero, zero. Boom, pickaxe installed. All right, cool. Also, let me look at something while it's repaired. Can we use the zombie head to add it? Yes! Okay, so the way uh, Teacher's Construct works in some of the mods is, depending on what mods you get, okay, the heads may not be upgrades, they may or may not. Um, just check your, you know, your local zombie heads in the NAI, uh, it can upgrade your actual pick. So if, you, if we take the pick head off, it says mining level stone. So we can only do stone with this pickaxe, but if we put the zombie head on, it's copper. Now if I remember straight, uh, let's see, it doesn't show durability yet because I haven't used it, looks like. okay. Some of these actually increase the durability. Oh, this up top of your durability. So if I take the durability off, okay. I was about to say, some heads, quote unquote, monster heads, let me make sure I say that, uh, will increase the actual, ah, my headset, will, will increase the actual durability of the weapon or the tool. But this one doesn't. But I'm just going to go ahead and use the zombie head because it's a free upgrade. So why not? And you never know, we may run into something later on that we need to deal with. How's this how's this coming along? Oh, it doesn't give me the percentage. Damn it. Okay, are you guys still here? Yeah, you guys are still here. Uh tell you what, I think I got let me get these coins real quick. I got sixteen coins. Um let me get a... hmm And flames all nearby enemies on hit. So is that two? What's this one? And heals thrower on hit. Ooh. Heals thrower on hit. That's pretty cool. What the fuck? 20 petals? Okay. Okay, so that's just upgrades. Okay. 
So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I got 16, so I get eight. So if I do, I don't know, uh, eight of these. So we'll put eight of those in. Oops, there we go. Took one back. And we'll just collect those. So we'll have a, a f ability to, to set them on fire. And then we're gonna throw the rest in here where we can have uh, the ability to get healed. I don't know how much that's gonna heal us for. So we'll see. But uh, I guess this is a good place to end the episode because I've got some work to do. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do greatly appreciate it. I do apologize also if it seems like I've been away for a long time. I have been. I've actually been, um, you know, I've been working. You know, making a living and whatnot. I got my two boys here. They're backing me up. Hopefully they stick around. I'll, uh, I'll try to fix the creative issue. I don't know what I was thinking when I started the mod pack. I should have changed it to survival. I think I should I don't know. I'll fix it where it's not creative, where I'm not getting items. Uh, but uh, next episode, we'll work. I'm going to have uh, a tree farm up where silkworms are going to be growing. Somebody just died. Um, I'm also going to have a farm going because we need food. And I hope nothing changes about the food uh, error. I'll probably do some mining as well and uh, get a sieve built, um, which requires string and wood which you get from the silkworm infested tree and you can also eat the silkworms too uh, I don't know if they're gonna make me make a frying pan I don't know I can make a frying pan and use it as a weapon as well or I can use it as a cooking utensil I don't know yet so we'll see anyways uh, let me stop you whoa whoa oh he's happy yeah he's ready to go he's boys we're ready to roll out yeah anyways um, thank you so much for watching. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. But as always, you don't have to do them if you don't want to. Um, but it's kind of nice if you if you do. Tell me I suck. Tell me I don't. Whatever you want to do. It's up to you. Leave a dot if you want to. That's fine. Uh, remember, we do this for fun, not for profit. So anything that... Oh, excuse me. Anything that goes on in the video, any noise in the background, any music in the background, or anything that could be related to copyright content, please understand that... This is not monetized, so no money is being made in this. This is all done for free. I have to start doing that now because I got a nice little thing in my inbox that I don't want to talk about. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!